Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Ah, tenía que tomarle fotos a Luna, pero nunca tuve la oportunidad. Y de hecho ya se desapareció la segunda. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. pero no vi ningún momento como poder tomar esa foto ni una pata de alguien la perdí y me perdí esas fotos no creo encontrar esa foto por ahí so creepy out here what the hell oh gross pero una rata una ardilla ah mira cómo brilla el elefante are you okay we need to hurry and get that motherfucker Hay huellas aquí. Maybe we should have called the police. No está Chloe. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? God, I want to fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh. Yeah, no. lo soñaron. Puta madre. Chloe, look out. What the fuck? Mierda, le. Ah, sí, Nero. Es este. Life is strange. No mames, mataron a Chloe. Chloe. Mierda en la cabeza le dio. ¿Quién es? No. Chingues. El pinche profesor. Ah, cortaron el capítulo justo, justo. Ah, está gracioso, está gracioso. A ver, eh, vamos a tomar las decisiones correctas en todo. Ya nos capturaron. Se 
que el loco el loco de mierda era el profesor Nathan de repente solo era su pupilo ya ahora güey la, la tormenta está ocurriendo igual la muerte de Chloe no para nada ah episodio 5 polarizado obvio que vamos a seguir Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. Oh. Rachel, I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh, God, Max, look. Espera, ¿nosotros no teníamos el teléfono de Nathan? No, Chloe. Ahorita que me estoy acordando. No mames. Seremos la siguiente, por lo visto. Cambiamos el destino de Victoria y nos convertimos en el siguiente objetivo del loco de mierda. Este. Alto, que vuelvo. Thank you. 
A la final así capturó la victoria también. Oh, no mames hasta este punto. Me parece un buen punto de referencia, la verdad. Slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. No, voy a poder. Hold that stare there. Va. Stay still. Loco de mierda. Special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. He tried so hard, but you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24/7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend, Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed that Nathan killed her in self-defense. 
But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Uh, Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed <laughs> my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Oh, no. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my time on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. No. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Mm -hmm. Tuve que haber tomado fotos en algún momento por lo visto. Malogré el álbum por lo visto porque tiré la. Pero eso es que va a cambiar. Va a mucho. Oh, Volvemos a igual. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Cierta victoria. Mm, ok. Victoria. Oh shit. Jefferson. Victoria. Hey. Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh god. Where. Where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait. You warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Victoria. Please listen. I have a plan. Really? How? Max, I'm so scared. So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max, I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just... I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? I'd do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Okay. Please, please 
Please get us out of here, Max. Okay. I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. So, now I can so use them. Sorry. I had no clue. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains. No. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's... Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. Oh, otro punto de color. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models my subjects yes you're a psychopath and this is your last session au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him! I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else? Could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? Why? 
Why? Why? Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Oh, now this one. Okay. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Ya me dejo una foto. Para empezar, ¿qué foto es? ¿Dónde se la tomó? No me acuerdo de qué capítulo fue esta foto. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody was going to hurt Chloe ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well, <laughs> thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the uh, time. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to contest. change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, Arctic. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Okay. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Celular. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. The okay. past was in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Ah, es por lo que estoy usando mucho el poder. It doesn't matter what happened, Victoria. It's nice to know how you really feel. No tengo baterías y esto es un coñazo. Hora de ponerme a, a tope de rimar. ¿Por qué renunció al escrito por lo visual? ¿Por qué mis rimas son muy más? ¿Por qué María Jefferson es la caña? Todo el mundo le mola más el que más. Pero él solo tiene ojitos para su Max. <laughs> lo dirá, pero ella. Bling. Le envidia es pecado, lo sabes, Vic. Dura un poco a lo por I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Not impressed anymore. If only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. But I better let David take care of everything. The 90s are over for you, asshole. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Casi no ha vuelto, mira, si no me pongo a inspeccionar. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. At least Kate knows people have her back. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. I can't blame the cameras, but I just think of Jefferson using them. Just a week ago, I was so... I can't go past these photo boundaries, so... I need to fix everything from here. An everyday hero is going to bust your ass, Jefferson. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. I still feel like... the lighthouse is calling out to me. I'd like to bust this up right now. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will too. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? 
I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. He's or thinking, guilty. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Va a cambiar un montón de cosas con esto. Y justo lo decía. Ya. Yeah. Eh, es que... Ah, bueno, eso no ha cambiado. Bueno, Nathan igual lo... Me pasé el punto ahí. Ok, eso se mantiene. La policía. ¿Qué pasa con la policía? Ah, sí los llevó. Chucha, se han todo. Lo detuvieron. Y a Nathan también. Imagino que Kate ya no tomó la decisión de saltar. Chucha, encontraron el cuerpo de Rachel. Igual ganó el concurso. <ríe> Victoria Tassada. <ríe> eh, obviamente no mataron a Chloe, ¿verdad? Chloe está viva. Está listando su ropa para ir a San Francisco. Pero al final les voy sola, ¿no? ¡Wow! Ok. You're ok, Max. You're safe. Eh, veo un aura como que el tiempo no está. I hope I did everything right this time. La policía detiene un problema. Good work, local. David. Joder, qué caña, Max. Super orgullosa de mi superestrella. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. Mm, algo no me está gustando. El aura del el ambiente aquí en el, en el avión es como un recuerdo. Como cuando viaja en el tiempo porque está limitado. Mira, al fondo. Esa como especie de barrera. Es como que estoy en un recuerdo. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus uh -huh. in the distance. Es lo que me refería. Está como desenfocado. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. 
way to land in Frisco. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Restaurante Dos Lunas. En pleno caos medio, medioambiental de Arcade Bay, con la nevada fuera de tiempo y las ballenas varadas, algunos habitantes aseguran que anoche vieron dos lunas llenas alrededor de las 10. Los testigos afirman que se veía con mucha claridad en el cielo de la noche hasta que las nubes lo ocurrieron al poco tiempo. Aún no han aparecido fotos ni videos del acontecimiento, lo que ha llevado a los meteorólogos locales a creer que el reciente descontrol climatológico podría haber disparado a la imaginación de algunos. El cuerpo de seguridad de Bloodwell descubre un búnker y, y salta el escándalo. Tras recibir una serie de pistas de David Madsen, responsable de seguridad de la Academia Bloodwell, los agentes de la policía descendieron el pasado martes a una extraña estancia subterránea, supuestamente empleada por, los, por, por el profesor Mark Jefferson y el alumno Nathan Presto para drogar, secuestrar y fotografiar a jovencitas. Aunque las víctimas no parecían haber sufrido ninguna agresión física o sexual, el inquietante descubrimiento originó un auténtico terremoto en la tranquila localidad de Kedebay. Incluso Sean Prescott, el, el empresario más poderoso de la zona, está ahora bajo investigación por su papel como propietario de la granja, donde estaba situado el cuarto oscuro. Un estudio con todo lujo de equipamiento fotográfico. Uh, nobody calls it Frisco. Oh, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. When we were innocent. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific. Como digo, algo no Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping. These airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, Things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, oh, lo decía. Algo está pasando. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Ah, es que estoy en un doble viaje. Ah, claro. Había retrocedido en el tiempo y a la vez retrocedido dentro de él. Por eso es que me, me vi en un doble, doble juego. <risa> no, por eso era el desenfoque y todo. Ahora recién estoy en el presente. No había entendido esa parte mía, recién la entiendo. Estaba en el pasado del pasado, había hecho un doble salto. Ahora sí es el presente. Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. 
After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Me preocupa el tema de la tormenta. No se menciona. Aunque no, aguanta. Sí se menciona. Si dijo lo de las dos lunas, eso quiere decir que estaba cerca el desenlace de la tormenta. Pero por qué? Wow, Sir Max, you did it somehow. ¿Por qué no les ha advertido? I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Okay, I'll do it. Vale, hay una foto de Kate. Kate enamorada, pero se ve, no la he tomado. Eh, ya, yeah. esta es acá en la galería. Esta cámara con cinta, no sé a qué se refiere, y la ballena. No mames, Chloe Price. Forever. Hay varias tomas que me, que me. Bueno, esta toma de acá me la he perdido, creo. Que se ve Kate enamorada, pero en qué momento pude haber tomado esa foto. En el recuerdo no podía hacerlo. Es Kate, ¿no? Parece Kate. Ese me hace. Uh, de un modo. Warren. Uh, sí, 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 sí. Ya, desde acá. Ahora tengo que pedir cita para verte. <ríe> Venga ya, pero si ahora. Ah, oh, pero sí, ahora te lo dices. Qué guay, que hayas ganado. Gracias, Warren, me siento raro. Ah, qué dice ahora. Acá. Machine, estamos súper orgullosos. Gracias. Ya sabes que siempre hemos creído en ti y en tus fotos. Pues claro, por eso estoy en Blood Poly. Cage. De aquí. Max, me he enterado de que te has ganado, de que has ganado el concurso. Espérate. Uy, aguanta. Eso tiene más. Más conversación. Obviamente. Ay, obviamente han cambiado las conversaciones. Ya, eso sí lo leí. Ay, Dios, me pobre. Eh, ok, desde acá. Ay Dios, Max, no puedo creer que hayan detenido a Nathan y Jefferson. Estoy en shock, la verdad. Tengo que hablar con la policía y prestar declaración. Espérate, quiero ver si más atrás me he perdido de algo. Eh, ya, por favor, dime si quieres que vaya, estamos contigo Gracias, tengo miedo, pero quiero asegurarme de que cierren a los dos y no hagan daño a nadie más Max, me he enterado de que has ganado el concurso y que y me ha alegrado muchísimo Tus fotos son súper auténticas y maravillosas, que te reconozcan como artista, me da esperanzas Gracias, Kate, a mí me da esperanza que seas amigo No seas tan modesta, te lo mereces, ya, queremos a, ya quedaremos a merendar para que me cuentes Dale por hecho. Dana Max, 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 nadie mola más <risa> Quiero inventarte una frase para victoriarte. Dana eres la pera, me voy a poner roja. Eso es porque estás a rojo vivo. <risa> ok, papá. Eh, ¿Desde cuándo? Ok, 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 desde aquí. Ok, Max, sé que tu madre te está bombardeando el teléfono. Lo entiendo, dile que no se preocupe. Ya eres adulta, se lo, puede, se lo puedes decir tú. Vale, pronto. No hay, no hay más mensaje. Bueno, listo, lo hay. Eh, ok, 5 a 13. Ah, hay más, más conversación, ok. Eh. Ah, tenemos bastante que hablar. Ahora sí tenemos una conversación. Eh, sí, hay bastante. Desde aquí creo que es. Max, necesito verte. Sé lo que le pasó a Rachel Ben Alfaro en cuanto le haces tu burla. Ahí estaré. Espero que estés bien. Max, gracias por estar conmigo ayer. Sigo intentando despertarme de esta pesadilla. Porque Rachel nunca le hizo daño a nadie. No, que va. Chloe, siento mucho todo. Joder, ¿cómo, vas a, cómo vamos a superar esta mierda? Viviendo. Rachel hubiese querido que tú vivieras una vida maravillosa. Esta es la mejor venganza. Ahora sí que tenemos que conquistar el mundo. No, solo tenemos que apoyarnos una de la otra. Eres una Santa Max. Eh, Mad Max. Flipa con esta movida. He tenido una charla con el, el pseudo héroe de mi padrastro esta noche. Soy todo ojos. <ríe> Desde que trincó a Jefferson ha cambiado radicalmente. Ahora va de buen rollo y se ha disculpado por su comportamiento. Qué bien, Chloe, vuelves a ser una familia entrada. Eh, para el carro. <ríe> Tronca, no me he echado a llorar en sus brazos, pero ha ayudado a dar con Rachel y a castigar a sus asesinos. Está claro que David se preocupa un huevo por mi madre e imagino que por mí también. Me aburro como una ostra. No tengo nada que hacer. ¿Tú qué haces, hippie? Algunas hippies tenemos deberes. No me digas Sherlock. Yo ya he echado los papeles para Bay City College. Ah. 
estudiar. Soy orgullosa de ti, pues espero. Creo que llegan al concurso de cotidiano reciente. Joder, qué caña Max, súper orgullosa de mi superestrella. Es esto, esto es solo el comienzo. Me alegro de poder compartirlo contigo. Pues claro, tronca, además mereces ganar. Sin emoticonos. <risa> Ahora la que manda emoticonos. Ok, eh. Bueno, hay bastante que ver. Y creo que no tiene mucho tiempo, pero vamos a ver, tratar de hacerlo mejor. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. The Golden Gate Reporter. Dejé mi arte en San Francisco, de Danny Lee. Si nací en un tren a alta velocidad de San Francisco, literalmente es una historia tan alucinante como la que no pienso repetir aquí. Para eso hace falta bebidas y marines por mamá. Pero puede que eso explique mi pasión obsesiva por la zona y por su importancia como casi disidentes. A pesar de la incontrolable gentrificación, los artistas y creadores siguen floreciendo independientemente de las presiones socioeconómicas porque eso es lo que tienen que hacer. Galerías como Seigate y Milkovich Fashion se han comprometido con la variada comunidad y han puesto en práctica lo que otros solo predican. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. It must be really claustrophobic. The revolution will not be televised. No a las empresas emergentes. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Unlike Arcadia Bay, some mysteries should stay that way. Holy shit, this flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. But what would I wear? Oh, how fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. I mean, San Francisco. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Why, good morning. You okay, must be Max no Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The Tan exhibition mal, is me bloqueó. Especially with your entry. Vale. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here. Not my style, but the I'm neon so is a nice shocked. representation. I have one of his monographs too. Oh, oh shit. His Pretentious alert. Serious cash. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Okay, that's it. Quiero ver qué más hay acá abajo antes de ir arriba. Look at this print. Al perrito. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35 mm lens. You can It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. Incluye aspirador. El año pasado estuvo mejor. <laughs> Me dan ganas de ponerme a hacer fotos. El fotógrafo de la fotografía empieza aquí. <coughs> Estos seres han elegido el camino del arte sin, pre sin pretensiones. Un gran ejemplo de vigilancia total. Se les acaban sus 15 minutos de gloria. Eh. Gracias. Esto es estupendo. Inspirado.
aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. That one is kind of silly. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Looks familiar. This might be too meta metaphoric. Like, I do not understand art. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. It was cool that Principal Wells came along. He could have canceled our entries after what happened with Jefferson. Kind of simple, but... So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all, me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. It was cool that Principal Wells came along. Excuse me, Max. I have to go call my wife. And tell her I haven't broken my diet. No black weapons. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects to focus. Oh, very smart.
how did these galleries afford to rent here? This makes me feel like I was back in high school. Usually, these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. God, I love stuff. art. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Okay. No presta mucha atención a la I wonder if I can director. buy the. Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. That is different. Loving the retro brochure. I always get so. Hey, I love your shots. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. Okay, Everyday hero. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, excuse me. I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Okay. I do not understand. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Oh oh. Oh oh. No mames, ahora que pasó. Hey, perdón. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. La tormenta. Bueno, nos dimos cuenta de que la tormenta está pasando. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Es en serio. Oh, come on. Please answer. No entiendo por qué no. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, Chloe, I'm can you hear me? Hello? Puta madre. Bueno, sí Hello? le dijo Chloe, pero por lo visto no les advirtió que tenían que haber salido la con. Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. Okay. Se grabó, así que vamos a dejar esta parte que se está poniendo interesante de nuevo para el siguiente capítulo. Tomar el tornado igual se va a cargar todo, o sea, lo mismo que nada.